The year is only 15 days old and the weather's beautiful. Here we are already with the first motorsports event of the year 2016, the 24 hours of Dubai powered by Hankook Tire. A lot of cars, a lot of carbon behind me. Everybody's excited to get the race started and we give you every pre-information you need to know about the 24 hours of Dubai. When the first free practice started, the pit lane was packed. It's the first time in history that the limit of 100 cars is reached. There will be a lot of traffic on the 5.3 kilometer long Dubai Autodrome. The fastest of the 10 different classes is called A6 Pro. And here most of the fans expected a battle between Audi and Mercedes for the overall victory. End of last year Audi delivered the new R8 LMS. The German Christa Jöns managed to put the car with the number 4 on pole. Not as important in a 24 hours race, but a nice little sign to the competitors. Yes, of course, because uh, we have uh, good competitors here, good drivers. So it was a tough fight in the end. Didn't expect to, to improve the lap time to get the pole, but uh, it's always nice. But as you said, it doesn't matter for 24 hours. So the exciting new Mercedes GT was beaten in qualifying. But the Black Falcon team stays one of the favorites. Last year they won with the Mercedes SLS. Everybody expecting now the GT is of seconds quicker than uh, the SLS, but the SLS was a good car. But of course we put all our experience in the new GT and for the next five years I think we got a car who was able to win a couple of races. I hope that uh, the GT is running without any technical problem and then I think we're in a good position to be in top five or probably on the podium. But Audi and Mercedes are not alone. They could be surprised by some strong Ferrari teams. We will also have a look at the Lamborghini Huracan number 26. Which manufacturer will be on the podium? The answer is unpredictable. Just the winning tire is clarified already. The 24 hours race of Dubai powered by Hankook Tire. And those are the people who power everything. They are responsible for the tires not the girls, the boys. And uh, let's take a close look how they work. They work a lot. The Hankook Ventus race has to be delivered in many different sizes and for many very different cars. We have here totally 7,500 tires. Okay, we prepared also for wet, 2,500 wet tires and 5,000 slicks around. We brought here 15 containers full of tires we have here approximately 35 guys working in every shift. We have three shifts that we can satisfy all the requests, plus engineers, uh, responsible guys. So you can imagine a lot of work. All of us expect a fantastic race because the very first time we have here 100 cars on grid. It never happens before 100 cars in several classes from the small Clio up to the new Audi R8, Mercedes AMG GT is here, Lamborghini Vista GT3, all new cars, brand new cars for the first time ready for racing. We expect a really fantastic, nice and also powerful race here in Dubai. The 24 hours are on the way and from the first moments on it's the expected battle between the Audis and the Mercedes, all eyes on the AMG GT, premier stage for the brand new GT3 weapon from Stuttgart, in front of the slightly dusty skyline of Dubai. But the R8s dominate the field from the beginning on. While in the pit lane the real hard work begins, new Hankook Ventus race tires are up for grabs and the personal changes seats. Endurance routine sets in. Out on the 5.39 kilometer long Dubai Autodrome, excitement grows. Three Audis up front, but the Mercedes lie in wait not too far behind. As the sun sets slowly over the desert, the big questions are, can the leaders keep up their pace? and who can surprise from further back. We are still miles away from a decision. Ooh, ooh, when 
the night comes. That's an old Joe Cocker classic. And that's the hardest part of a 24 hours race. Driving in the night, full of adrenaline, fighting against tiredness. Some like it, some don't. There will be a little more time driving in the dark than in daylight. So the teams must be able to work in the night as well as in the sun. If you want to fight for the victory, every movement at a pit stop must be perfect, always. Hard night time for the mechanics, while many drivers like the stints in the darkness. Actually, I like the night driving. You can do uh, good lap times because lower temperatures are. It's also better feeling for the driver in the car than at the daytime. And as usual, uh, we do double stints at night, so you're uh, for a long time in the car. Does the tire work in the darkness? Of course, but it can be surprisingly cold in January nights in Dubai. Then you have to react. Yeah, sure. We have now half past eight. We have overall 15 degrees less than over the day. So the teams, they have to pay attention now that they go up with the pressure to don't have any cracks inside or damages because of the lower temperatures outside. In the average, you have to go, let me say, 0.1 bar higher than over the day. But you cannot say average because each car uh, is using his own pressures on especially pressure settings. So let me say 0.1, you should go higher. <laughs> Last Sunbeams are witnessing up to here a really encouraging effort of the new Mercedes AMG GT. But just before the night sets in, both Black Falcon cars have to give up due to technical problems. Veteran star Bernd Schneider's face speaks volumes. The end comes way too early. Now the color red governs the pack as the Ferrari 458 starting number 11 takes over the lead dusk sets in. The real exhausting part of a 24-hour race begins. To keep up a good pace alongside perfect pit stops and Hankook tire changes gets more and more difficult as the minutes fly by. Shortly after this service halt, the Ferrari crashes. Victory dreams are buried in the Dubai night. New leader now, the Audi R8 from Lund Motorsport running smoothly while in the pits some well deservedly close their eyes the 24 hours of dubai were everyone out oh hello good morning it's daytime again and believe me these armchairs where i was lying in they are very, very convenient and you need them at a 24 hours race because it's so demanding. Now it's 9.30, so that means still four and a half hours to go. I try to go out of this armchair, it's difficult enough, and get myself a coffee. The hours after dawn, when you realize there are still hours to go, that's the hardest time at a 24 hours race. It's not just the lack of sleep, but your body feels the hard work of the night. hours it's just about keeping up 
Everybody has his own personal tactic to stay with the race. Back in daylight, we see a new leader. The Land Audi ran out of fuel, so the WRT Audi is now in first position. Everything works out very well within the Belgian team. Pit stop, new Hancock tires on, and off they go to defend their top spot for the remaining hours. In second place now, last year's winning car, the Mercedes SLS AMG GT3, led by Abdulaziz Al Faisal and Englishman Adam Christodoulou. The car has been completely built up after the operational vehicle had been heavily damaged in training Thursday. Third at that time, 45 minutes before the end, is the Lamborghini from Conrad Motorsport when their last pit stop and driver's change is on the agenda. Everything went close to perfection till here. And optimism is eligible for Franz Conrad and his crew, but then fate blows as the engine blows up, so close by the checkered flag. That is crossed first by Laurenz Fantor, who carries the WRT Audi home for the win alongside his teammates Alain Farté France, Michael Meadows and Stuart Leonard, both from the UK. They had been dancing with their opponents over this motorsports marathon and celebrating a very well-deserved victory at the 24 Hours of Dubai, powered by Hankook Tire. It was a bit of a chaos uh, very often and uh yeah, you could see how many crashes there were on contacts and uh, we also had some slight ones, but uh, in the end we survived. And uh, that was what I predicted yesterday, the ones who survive will, uh, will have a chance to win. And uh, obviously we had some luck with that and we managed to do that and uh, we won. The winner's taxis are already there. You see it in the background. A camel ride that's obligatory here at the 24 hours of Dubai, powered by Hancock Tire. That's about it for this year's edition. It was a thrilling, exciting, a stunning race. And we'll be back next year that you can take for a promise.